Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Wonderful World of Aluna. And, what was that? I thought I just saw something sticking through the door. Okay, maybe not. Uh, that was weird. Anyway, uh, morning should be here any second. This is what the current incarnation of the water fountain looks like in the middle of the square. I actually like this. This looks pretty good. So, uh, on my way. I got rid of the stairs I was using. That put a little too high. I, I actually already rebuilt this once. The first iteration had steps, but I changed it to these ramps. Put some lights in the corners. Um, it's pretty deep, actually. If you go down here, it does go pretty deep. Um, and to, to get out, you actually have to go in in the center, and then you can swim up. Theoretically, you should be able to grab water out of here, and it should never run out. Whoops. But it doesn't appear as if it lets me. Probably because it's considered flowing. I don't know. Maybe I'd have to dump water in there. i just try it real quick, because I do want to make that... Uh, I want to make it a water source, so anytime I need water for anything, I can just come here and grab it. Oh. Yeah, that won't work. That would just look really dumb. Okay, well, I guess that is out as a water source. I mean, I've got the little river thing there. The bay, whatever you want to call it. It's right there, so it's really not an issue. Um, I think... Man, I thought it was almost morning time. We are going to start working on the layout of the hotel. Which will be going over here. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these trees because they never grew anyways. Uh, they might if I put them on the grass, though. So we'll try that. I don't know what this building was going to be. I know I had a plan for it to become something, but... That fell through. Ah! The sun peeks its head up over the hills. Alright, so I might end up doing a second pathway from here. Coming up and over to the hotel. Because this one goes to the little lighthouse lookout tower thing there. The house connected to it. And then the... Uh, the kitchen that'll be connected to the little open air cafe here. So the hotel should have some space between the warehouse because the two buildings do not necessarily connect or work in conjunction with each other. And I'm just gonna block this out with dirt. So the idea is to have a bunch of rooms. One, two, three, four. Maybe do 4x4 four four rooms? I don't know, does 4x4 four four seem sufficient? I think so. So then 1, 2, 3, 4. So then we would put a door in that someplace. That's 2. Ah, you know what? Let's just do this right from the get go. I'm going to have to end up digging all the sand out and the dirt as well, but I may as well start by putting the dirt at that level. The f all the sand on the floor here will have to be removed too, because obviously you don't want a sand floor in your hotel. Well, I wouldn't think you would anyways. Sandstone maybe you could pass on, but not just sand. That'd be a big no-no. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four. All right, so that's that gives space for a bed. We could even do a double wide bed, like a chest. I know it's so easy to tell what everything is when it's all dirt. A chest, and then uh, maybe a shelf right there, or a table and chair. I think we have uh, tables and chairs. So you put like a little 
a desk in or something so they could have a little space to like do some writing bookkeeping so yeah that's probably good that's gonna not give me very many rooms though I'm planning on taking it two stories high but uh yeah man I don't know that's not it's not giving me a lot in the way of rooms okay so say we do this and then that oh needs to be out here joins with this the question now is how do you get into this corner room do I either make one room like bigger so this corner one connects to the other room and is twice as big or something because you have to have some way to get to all your rooms you can't really have rooms in a hotel if there's no way to get to them well I mean you can but you'd never be able to rent them because people couldn't get in them you know so it'd be silly to do that of course it's not to say that people wouldn't do it uh, who was it wasn't it Winchesters the I don't know mother grandmother somebody super rich because of you know being famous she built a mansion that had uh yeah it had rooms that connected to nothing there was no doors to get to them or so I've been told anyways from very reliable sources so here's my idea which I literally just thought of just put a hallway here a hallway that dead ends there and then put another room here so we have our one two three four and that should match up with this so we can put that in there and then again that matches with this and right there so I guess I'll uh, I'll leave the doorways open here so that'll be a doorway um, that'll be a doorway and that'll be a doorway and to get in there I'll put a doorway there now I might do like a large receptionist area here someplace this is gonna need a door to get into here so this gives me five rooms second story will give me ten second story is gonna pretty much follow the same floor plan I think I want to do something with like a, a rail or something I don't know I'll put in how about this one two three four perfect maybe they want a um, I don't want to call it a dining room because they're not really gonna be so much focused on serving food here but you know a a common area maybe so there'll be one two three four five six rooms to the floor and then these will be the corners of the building like that and right there and there and then that's a doorway this is a doorway this is a doorway that's a doorway that's a doorway and this is the last doorway 
Yeah, so those are all the doorways. Ah. Uh, how do I get to the second story now? Because I want to have like a... I guess it's always something I can figure out when I get there. But I want to do like a flight of stairs on the side. And then have... Like a... What do they call that? Where there's just a hole to see down to the first floor? A balcony? Is that what it is? And so there'll just be like a railing up there. And then the doors to the rooms. Which... It's going to be confusing if I follow the same floor plan. Well, I guess I could still put the hall in. Yeah, still put the hall in. And the balcony would just stick out, say, two nodes there. And... Or, you know, well... It'd be dumb to not have something go into this room. I guess on the second story, this could be a large room. I could do that. So there's going to be no way to get access to that corner room upstairs. Alright, so. What are we going to use for the floor? What material do I have an exorbitant amount of? Definitely not that. No, I don't have a lot of wood. Stone, no, but I can get unlimited stone. Okay, I have basalt cobble. Can I turn this? No, nothing like that. Okay, so it appears if basalt is... Pretty much just usable as basalt. But let me double check here. Okay, so it can be. can be used. I wanna know how to make it. Not out of slabs. Like, what recipe do I have to cook this? Cooking's needed, I can cook it. Yep. Alright, well there we go. We're gonna cook up a bunch of that. And... That'll be our floors. So... Let's go dig out a bunch of sand here. Yeah. Just dig out the sand. No, wait. Bedroom floors? With basalt? Do I want to do that? I'm not sure. For starters, I'll just do the hall in the common area in basalt. Maybe I'll use something else for the other floors, the bedroom floors. I don't know. Like, I just feel like if you use stone as a floor, that's going to be pretty cold. And if you're walking barefoot in your room, because, you know, why wouldn't you? It might be cold on the feet in the winter. And wood would potentially be warmer. Because it does not have as good of thermal properties. Maybe it has better thermal properties, so it doesn't transfer the heat as quick. I don't know what the which way that would be worded, but I just feel like stone's going to transfer heat through it faster than wood does. And I am evidently going to need quite a bit, and this takes three seconds per block. All right, well let's see what it looks like for starters because it might end up just looking really dumb I don't think it will no I think that looks good 
um, it's going to give it a very dark look instead of something like the sand which was light in color so gave everything a light look but that'll work we will use that for the floor I will uh, continue working on that through the night but I will end this episode here and then come back in the morning with the next edition.